say that shit, that shit. Like bad kids, bitch, we reckless. Yeah. Well, hearts are like taxes. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Guap signing back with another video, and due to high. Due to a lot of people requesting me to do a tutorial on how, like, I Photoshop Lincoln from the Loud House and etc. Like, how I do all my Photoshop stuff. Like, due to the amounts of requests of that, and due to the fact that I am bored as hell right now, and I ain't got anything else better to do, I may as well decide give you, to give y'all a little bit of a tutorial video on uh, today, this time around. Now, um, now also, quick note, like, uh, before I... Do anything else like if you don't have Photoshop C6 on uh, CS6 installed, I will try to leave a link down in the description. It'll take you to a video on how to install it completely for free. It'll completely jailbreak it, and you'll be able to get it on your computer no problems. Now, if I find the video, I will definitely link it down below. If not, I'll try and find it, bro. I'll try to find it. Now, um, I know a lot of y'all have been asking me like, bro, how do I do? How do I Photoshop link from the lighthouse? How do I make him look like? you and etc like on um, how do I change skin color etc now um I actually found out how to do this on my own I actually um been inspired by guap boy dead uh who does like voiceovers who does and also is a great photoshopper as well so uh, I got inspired by him and as you can see hold up uh I'm gonna show you a quick example um guap boy dead the loud house fortunately I already have one up now if you look at his stuff his stuff look legit. His stuff look legit, and I wanted to I wanted to actually make it look like his stuff as well. So I actually kind of got inspired by him as well to make to make my own stuff. Now, um, now back back to the main thing. Now, what you're gonna need is, is Photoshop CS6, which I already said, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, uh, we're actually gonna do this one that I just did, like yes, literally yesterday in just 30 minutes. We're gonna do this one right here. We're gonna do the same one, and we're gonna do it right here, right now. All live commentary right now. Now, the first thing I always do with any any um image is that change the skin color. Uh, like I can change, I can either change it or leave it the same way. But um, for the sake of me being black and like no, uh, like I'm not even gonna comment on that. But like um, whatever skin color I want. Uh, I will I will change it to whatever like I will want it to be changed to now the way I do this is I go to paint bucket right here and then I change the color now first uh, this this stuff right here is how you pick your colors now I got now since I already have this stuff up I'm gonna go over here and I'm, you can use the color picker and you can change on um, you can actually click on his skin and actually um what's it called choose the skin color and it'll already be on there right there in the um, in the left in the left hand side right here now go back to that um to the picture that you want to photoshop to all this is live too all this is live now and then you just simply click on it now whatever you click on is going to be the affected area so say if i click on lincoln skin right now uh, in this area it's going to click it's going to change everything that's in a border so you get what i'm saying so everything that's in a border so like his arm right here that's in the border that's going to be changed too uh, his ear, his portion of his ear right here, that's gonna be uh, in a border too. His lower arm down here, that's gonna be in a border as well. If this thing can freaking load, okay, there we go. Um, and then his fingers, I do his fingers as well. Um, okay, so now that we got that done, now, uh, what? Now, also, I forgot to, I forgot to mention. Always, I always like to do layers. So, um, cr uh, create new layer and then create and then title it whatever you want. I just title title it is specifically uh like skin color hair hairline babe etc just to keep up with what i'm doing because you don't want to do everything on one layer and then you you don't know what you're doing afterwards so it's very it's very easy once you actually get of a flow to it like if you get what i'm saying so that's very simple do that and the skin color is changed now once um that's done like i doubt that you're probably gonna need to go back to the skin color again so make a new layer now um a lot of y'all have been asking how do i um tattoo his hairline or like not tattoo a hairline but like make him have a hairline this is what i do now you're gonna need the paint bucket and make sure you got a new layer and then name it however you want i just put hair or hairline uh, just to keep up with what i'm doing then i i change it to black so um then use the paint bucket and it's gonna change whatever that's in the border and then do that now you see how it's got that little white outline we're gonna change that now 
uh, go into the paintbrush right here. You can use the paint tool, uh, the paintbrush tool. You can choose either pencil, replacement, etc. I always use the brush tool because it's gonna um, get everything um, that you uh, brush over. So using using the brush carefully, uh, gently, just uh, color over the lines. Just color over the lines, and then it'll be all good. So then do that. Then give me a little second here. This might take a little minute. And if I have to fast forward anything, like uh, I will do that. So just have to do this right quick. And get. Make sure you do a little bit at a time because if you mess up while you ha did a lot, you're gonna have to redo it all. So always just do a little bit by a little bit and then click off of it. And then if you want to redo anything, you can open up your history right here on this tab right here on the right. Now what else am I missing? Oh yeah, it's down here. Now of course, um, like if I do mess up on this certain portion right here, I can, um, that, his hairline is going to change anyway, so, um, that's what, um, that's why, like, I'm doing what I'm doing now. And then you can always change the, like, the brush and the brush size with this right here, uh, with this tab up there. So then just get all the little details out, all the little details around his ear and then on his hair. And don't worry, if I mess up, it's all going to change anyways. See, damn it, I know this is going to be a long tutorial because I'm going to take my slow ass time because you want you don't want to go fast, but if you know what you're doing, you you're gonna get uh you're gonna get it down really fast if you know what you're doing, and you're gonna catch a rhythm. So, um, like I said, it don't have to be perfect, but you can always go back and change this later on. So, now now that that's done, um, his hair his hair is not done yet. So what I do is is that um uh, while going to his hairline, um, I actually go back to the paint color and then like say like. If I want this like excess black off of here, like I can go to go to your eraser that's right here, and then choose your size, and then actually like erase it with the skin color. Oh, uh, hold up, let me do that wrong thing, and then yeah, it is. So I don't even know why it's doing that. Um, hairline. Oh, oh, I understand why because like um, it's under uh color or what you can do is is that you can use the paintbrush you can actually use the uh, the paintbrush and actually um color over that if you actually messed up so do that like I said all of this is live too all this is live anyways that looks about good and plus that's gonna change later on anyways now you see how his hairline is cruised no offense Lincoln but your hairline is cruised but we can fix that um, so what you're gonna do is is that you're gonna go over here to this little box with the shapes and whatever so right click on this and you want to select rectangle tool so once it does that make sure you always choose your color too um you're gonna choose your color and then you can also change like whatever color is down here is not gonna be what it is on here but if it isn't go up here to where it says fill and stroke and choose the color you want luckily it's already black so I don't really have to do any of that now and then just create like a little rectangle now, um, if you want to change it, if you want to adjust it in any way, you can actually um, hold down Control and T on uh, Control T. So then adjust it a little bit. Now you see how it's um, not really matching up. Now stay with me real quick. Stay with me really fast. So now, now that it is stretched to where I want it, now you can go over here and press Warp. Now this is where like really the photoshopping really goes into play because like you can warp it to whatever shape you want, you can change it to whatever shape you want, no problem. So then do this and then do that and do this. And now and now his he now has a hairline now. So yeah, that's basically it. Now of course I'm not done yet. Now let me do this. Okay, now, you see how he has his hairline now? Oh wait, hold on, uh, actually yes. Uh, now if it's, if any part is sticking out at all, you can always go back to your layers, that's why I'm saying that the layers are so important, 
because if you mess up or if anything like this happens where it's like a slight little portion of the layer under it happens like you can go back and edit it at any time you want so using the paintbrush again just simply like um do the portion that it just needs to do uh, i'm trying to find the right words all this is live too so i'm not really the best at this so so what's next oh yes uh the hairline we're still not done yet now using the same rectangle tool uh choose your color and then uh this part right here um you can actually search up ta taper fades right now uh if you don't know how a taper fade looks just google it there's tons of uh, haircuts of taper fades from barbers all all over the US and across the world that does taper fades like this for real This is what a taper fade is so you see how it's like a little straight line like downwards And then it's like a circle to the beard. That's what a taper fade is So what we're gonna do is is that we're gonna form a rectangle first We're gonna form a rectangle like this first and then crop it down a little bit We're gonna move it over just a tad and then put it down a little bit and then that, yeah that should be good now um now go back to the rectangle right click and then go to e ellipse tool i almost said eclipse but it's the same thing in the academic sense um choose your color now uh this is where the fill comes in just choose your color and the stroke um that's where it's gonna come in no i did not want to do that okay fill okay now uh, always do your um your shape first always do your shape first because it's gonna choose like another um the layer that you was just on so uh go go back choose your color like this and then once that's done clo close that and then control t and then move it um into into place now of course like of course uh the warp tool is always gonna be there so if you ever need it like it's always there so um first let me move this over just a little bit okay now using the warp tool is you go over there you go over here and just form a little shape or just form like a little circle that leads to like his hair to what his hair is gonna be now now looking at it from afar it looks decent but we can make it a little better so what we're gonna do is is that while going onto the one that you to the layer that you just did with the eclipse uh, go to your paintbrush and choose your size and then like shape it up only a little bit just shape it up only a little bit and then um so you can get that crispy like black because like you see how it's all like rigid right here you can actually um you can actually uh fix that so where like it's super crispy so let's do that choose like a two size two or three two or three in this case may be good so and just fill in like the little lines Now I know this may not look like the best because like I'm doing this all live, so. Now, now that, that actually looks kind of better now, right? Now, now this is always my best part. Now we're getting into the best stuff. Now, uh, now that we're done with that, uh, you can actually like uh, holding down control and clicking down in the layers down on the bottom right. You can actually like click on them all together if you want to. You can move them if you want to, um, like using Control T, or you can merge them uh, all together. Now, fortunately, we're all done with these, so we can merge them for now. Now, using another layer, create another layer, and then we're gonna do the clothes. Now, how you see like with the bait T-shirts that I got on and everything in these pictures right here, we're gonna put one on him right now. So, how we do this is is that. Um, now that that layer is just gonna be there for reference now of course we're gonna move that layer down now that's gonna play in handy and I'm gonna tell you why now using this pen tool right here using the pen tool uh, we're actually gonna now his orange clothes we're actually gonna Photoshop that and cut that out so using that just form click on it and then it's gonna create a little shape now you want to go back go around the whole part that you want to cut out and then 
bring it back around and then the first one that you started off with click on it uh, once you're done like going all around like I did just now and then click on it and then it's gonna form uh, it's gonna close off into a border and then once you're done with that hit selection uh, choose the feather radius to zero and press OK and then once that's done it's gonna you're gonna see like this pop up now don't worry now we're, we're gonna fix that in a second so using control using control holding down control you want to want to press control X at the same time so and then that's gonna cut it out like you get what I'm saying so and then it's the same process with like the other side of his clothes and, and everything so we're gonna cut that out right here do the same thing right here cut that out and then selection okay control X and then that's gonna cut it out as well and then do the same thing on his main part of his clothes right right here sometimes you got to be precise but for more precision means like better or uh, better results I don't know who says that honestly just making up stuff as I go along so so yeah now go around like this and then press selection again zero okay control X and then that's gonna cut it out now honestly not now you see like a little orange around there now you can honestly hit the eraser and erase all that but really that's not really gonna matter because you're not gonna really notice it from afar but if you notice it you're you're only gonna notice it like if you zoom all the way in if you get if you get what I'm saying now this is the best part right here now uh, if, to me I would suggest uh, googling babe camo like if you want to have like a babe look like just uh, Google babe camo and then select any and then download any of these uh, camos that you see right here I already got a purple one uh, I got a purple one I'm gonna see you I'm gonna show you just in a second uh, fortunately I got all of my stuff in folders because I'm an organized type of dude so where is it okay right here this is the one I used in like the one um, that I just did and the purple one I never used the purple one so we're gonna go with the purple one now that's gonna automatically open up on its own you wanna wanna um, press control A and then that's gonna um, select everything around it so and then press control X that's gonna cut everything so go back go back to your layer now this layer that we just did um let me title that bait real quick okay so once that once that goes down once you name that layer and put it under the original layer like now it's all ready to go now this word like you really want to pay attention to now pressing control V that's gonna um that's gonna put up the layer under there and that's how and that's how you have like your designer clothes and everything now um, I'm gonna have to zoom out real quick just so I can fix this because like it is like a big file so let me go back and fix let me go fix this real fast and then size it down to wherever you want if you want like a if you really want the detail camo be my guess but if you really but if you really want to go all out and actually um like be extracurricular with it just uh just know that it's gonna be a hassle but you're gonna get used to it now now that that's done now um of course it looks a little blurry but once you're finished it's gonna um increase the quality so don't worry now also now most bait t-shirt most my i know i have a purple camo t-shirt just like this and i just ordered one like the other day um it has like a bathing ape or either the tiger camo um the tiger zip up logo on it but fortunately today we're gonna do like the um we're gonna do the original a bathing ape uh logo so open up your files again now i already have this stuff downloaded so um i go to my pictures and i have categories for everything so because i i want to be like organized with my stuff so once you download this now once you download this logo right here this is gonna be this is a, the part that you're really gonna want to pay attention to me too so <coughs> sorry now right click on background and then press layer from background and then that's gonna create a new layer so you're gonna cut out the white background and everything so it's gonna be uh, perfectly fine once you do it so now uh, what are you okay so yes now 
go to your um, magic wand right here that's like the fourth one on this little list of icons right here and then choose your tolerance level to 32 choose it to 32 and then uh, that's gonna choose everything that's like colored white so everything like if say okay so say if I click on the white it's only gonna choose the white if I ch um press on the black it's gonna choose the black so it's gonna be based all on the color that you pick. So it's gonna cut it out once you actually do it. Now pressing Control X, that's gonna remove your background. Now, um, go go to your color picker. Now I um that specific type of vape camo T-shirt is has a white bathing ape um logo on it. So using the cup, using the paint bucket and the color changer, uh, just simply go on and um change it to white. So change to white all the letters. Now, like I said, if you ever make a mistake, you can always undo it. And then, like using uh, holding down Alt and then scrolling in with the mouse, uh, like you can simply um, zoom in to get a better to get a better look. A little details. Now, we're not done yet. Now, pressing Control A, that's gonna um, like I said before, it's gonna. Um, Use a border, it's gonna crop a border um, so you can cut out anything, everything that you want once you're finished. And then press Control X. Then go back to where to where you originally did it from. Di did it from, my bad. And then press that. And then, it, obviously it's gonna be underneath. So if you ever want to know what you're doing, just, uh, just go underneath and then it'll be underneath like that. So. Once that happens, now of course you can always press Control T to transform it in any way that you like. And then after that's done, just simply um, put that over that. Just simply move it into place. Move your logo into place wherever you want. I always just like it to be completely authentic and be completely like, like exactly like the the real thing. If you understand what I'm saying, like it's it's 11 o'clock at night and I ain't got anything else better to do, so uh, just bear with me. So crop that down. Of course, my computer is like having some issues because mine is not a gaming computer; it is a regular computer. I mean, it has the right specs and everything, but that's besides the point. So crop that down and then zoom in. Of course, it's gonna look blurry, but don't use a sharpen tool or anything. That's only gonna make it worse. Then rotate it, and then crop it down some more, so whatever you want. Now, that looks good. So, and if you want, you can actually um, uh, cut out this, um, but for the tutorial sake, I'm actually going to show you how to do that as well. So, then, once that happens, create a new la layer, and then we're going to cut out this. So. Say if you want to have like a public service announcement or like just have like a little your own little note, we can do that. But for Christ's sake, um, and my time's sake, like we're only gonna like cover the whole thing. So, um, using the color picker again, you're gonna choose the color. Now, um, that's the cool thing I like about Photoshop. It actually takes the exact color and generates it to what the color is. So, once that happens, like choose the square. And then, choose a stroke, and then, there. So, now you can write your own little note on it if you if you want to. Now, just for, like, my sake, um, uh, I don't know, what the fuck can we put? So, also, I'm also gonna leave a list of all the fonts that I use, like, when I'm photoshopping or whatever, so y'all can use it too. Um, we're gonna put a note, like, saying... Uh, uh, I don't know what the fuck can we say? Um, made. Uh, also, you can um choose the color right here for the uh text. Uh, actually, better yet, uh, yeah, let's do that. So because I I always use my gradient, so I don't really use this. I use my gradient overlay. So um, now what can I use? Uh. Uh, I don't know what the fuck can we put anyways, but if you you get the idea so made by 
guapo or something something along those lines and then control T and then that's pretty much it now of course like uh like you're gonna need some practice practice is gonna make absolute perfect that's why I always practice uh, whenever I got the chance or when I'm just straight bored like I am now and just want feel like photoshopping something so now of course like of course like uh, I'm missing the main um the main thing that I'm missing is how to like cut out um this and actually put it onto a new layer so we're actually gonna close this and this is gonna take a hot minute so if I fast forward anything like you're gonna know it's gonna take if I fast forward anything you know it's gonna take a while so open up a, a new thingy uh presets my I always use my presets 2560 by 1440 for channel banners and I always use 1280 by 720 for standard YouTube thumbnails I always use myself for whenever I create a new banner I always use this I if I use creating a thumbnail I always use the 1280 by 720 so this is what we're gonna use for now but we're not gonna use that right now so oh my gosh okay so we're almost done we're almost done now uh now of course like if we use the magic wand it's not gonna cut everything out of course you could try it but i doubt it's gonna work so also let me change this really fast Okay, that's better. Uh, of course, you can always like change it afterwards if you always make a mistake. Now, once you're done, always be sure to save it. I don't save mine. Uh, I didn't save mine right now because like, um, it's whatever like uh, a test. But just for just for this sake, I'm gonna save it under my documents. Like I said, I'm a very organized type of person because like if I save it somewhere and I don't remember where, I'm basically D O N E fuck. So. Excuse my language if any of y'all actually are watching that are uh, take cursing very offensively. But um I don't know, text. Just name it whatever you want, just save it. I don't really care. As long as you save it, you're golden. So any change you make after that if you want to. I always merge my stuff so like when I'm about to do what I'm about to do, you'll understand why. So I always like to start off on like the part that's always cropped down. So uh, starting off on his right side and then um, basically use the pen tool and like go around his head this is gonna take take some precision so if I uh, I'm gonna read I'm gonna fast forward this and I'll see y'all uh, in a little bit Okay, so now that we're done, um, like I actually um, went around the whole body, as you can actually see, like the parts that I'm that's good that connected to Lincoln is actually the parts that we're gonna cut out. So using select, we're gonna you always have the feather radius on zero. I always have it on zero, anyways. And then make sure all that your all your um, your layers are merged, and then just simply Control X. That's gonna cut it out. 
and then go back to where your 1280 by 720 um new canvas is gonna that's where your new canvas is gonna come to play and then could simply control control v to paste it over and then position it exactly uh how it is um like in that original picture so then yeah that looks about right yep it looks exactly right and of course like of course his head is going to be a little bit of a problem so we can always like you you can always use like the uh the elliptical uh thingy and then like um warp it but like for time's sake i'm actually going to um use the the paintbrush and actually uh paint paint the affected areas that can actually use some smoothness so so 13 i don't really care And this is gonna be a real, and this, and that is a real pain when like, um, when like you think that you're done, but like it can use some improvements. So this is what this is what I'm showing y'all for. That looks better. Now, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And of course, like you can always change like the background and everything. Um, but for some, uh, for now, we're not gonna actually do that. Actually, like if you want to, um, like change the background, you can always like go to the original background and then, um, and then do that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys actually enjoyed this little tutorial. I know this seems like a little bit long tutorial. That's like not really. I don't really do a lot on my channel, but I was bored and I actually wanted to do some stuff um, for y'all. So I hope you guys found this um, tutorial very um, amusing and useful. Um, I, I will also have the link to Photoshop CS6 and all and like all the names of all the fonts that I use uh, for my Photoshop thumbnails, like this one and everything. So so you guys can go find it and download it yourself. So. Make sure you guys smash that like button if you're new, and also let me know what you guys think. Did you, and also, uh, also share it to me on Twitter if you um created your own Photoshop cartoon characters because I would love to see y'all like learn from me if you understand what I'm saying. So, um, uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe if you're new. This your boy Guap, and I'm signing out, bruh.